Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and actually, funny, another another video plan for tonight that about um Universal and Warner Brothers potentially merging in 2024. Rumor that the analysts predict that video will go up in the next couple of days. I'm having a tough time uh, uploading or exporting off the phone, so struggling. But then I saw this story today: the Nickelodeon Hotel and Resort in Garden Grove has got final approval from the city of Garden Grove. As of September 13th, they took a vote on it, and it got final approval, uh, which is awesome. Um, apparently, this project has been in the works since 2016. I had no idea it was in the works at all. I remember going to the Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon Suites in Florida uh, way back in like 2007 or 2005-ish, um, way back when. And that was very fun, so I'm very excited that this hotel is coming here. To Garden Grove, it's on Harbor Boulevard, just just a couple of minutes, a few miles, and just a few minutes south of Disneyland, uh, which I'll get to in a later part of this video here. But first, let's look at the stats for this hotel. So this is from an article. This article is from Joy LC. This is from again, like July, sorry, uh, to um, August, um, because yeah. This is when, this is when they um approved the ordinance on August twenty fourth because says final vote will take place on Tuesday, September thirteenth. That was just a few days ago. So, but the stats have not changed. So basically, here is where it's going to be. Sorry for this stupid ad, but yeah, here's what's going to be: Harbor and Twin Tree Lane, this big empty dirt plot, right in the entertainment district of Garden Grove called the. Uh, it's called The Grove, and this is um, it's a lot of hotels, Delta Hotels by Marriott. It seems like a whole bunch of Marriott brands right here. Just up the street is the Great Wolf Lodge. Then, if you keep going on Harbor, of course, you run into the Anaheim Resort District, into this land resort, because Garden Grove and Anaheim are just are their neighbors. So, um, here are the hotel and resort features. And again, this is no small project, it's no project to sniff at. Disney should be definitely looking at this because there's two and a half to four acres of themed resort pool with a lazy river and a pool slide, water slides. Keep in mind, no Disneyland Resort Hotel. They have water slides, but they don't have a lazy river. There's a Nick Arcade and a studio. I'm sure the um, Nick Arcade and studio and just the whole town general will have like walk around here to like SpongeBob, meet and greet characters and stuff, and maybe even a character dining. Uh, that's the one at least Florida. And one in Florida had stuff like that, so I'm sure this will have something similar. Because their competition, Disney, right up the street, has, of course, Goofy's Kitchen and something, things like that of that nature. Nick Learning wants to pull some of those Disney families, people going to a Disney vacation, but choosing to stay at the Nickelodeon Hotel and Resort because it's just a few minutes away. A uh, quick Uber, bus, or even a car or a drive away, which, um, very smart by Nick. And, I wonder if Disney is looking at this. I mean, sure, are there, I'm sure their hotel business won't take a massive hit, but families may choose to stay at this probably much cheaper alternative than Disney, especially when there's more to offer, like, you know, the Lazy River, uh, probably a bigger pool area, um, meet and greet characters, walk around meet and greet characters, again, for a cheaper price. Um, and again, I used to watch Disney Channel when I was young, but I used to, I used to watch Nickelodeon first and foremost, then Disney Channel. So I'm sure a lot, a lot, a lot of the kids will like both, even if they don't go to Disney at all. I'm sure this this hotel will be a massive hit. I mean, Great Wolf Lodge is something similar. They have where water slides and stuff, and that uh, that's a big hit. I'm, but again, that's not taking any business away from or much business away from Disneyland, and I'm sure this won't either. This will be on a bigger scale though. Um, but yeah, these themed resorts popping up in Garden Grove, especially right next to Disneyland, Disney should be watching, at least on how to improve their hotels, to at least not make them look like crap, like the new Pixar Place Hotel. And anyway, so we have 500 hotel rooms, 100 timeshare units, 22,000 square feet of a hotel restaurant, 17,000 square feet of ballroom meeting space, 13,000 square foot of themed amenities. Not sure what those are, but that is, again, nice for the children and the families. 10,000 square foot spa and fitness center, 7,000 square foot arcade. Um, I'm not sure if that's a separate arcade than from the Nick Arcade or 
what because they are listed separate in the feature, so I'm not sure about that. Five thousand square foot of retail, a gift shop probably. Three thousand square foot fitness center. See, um, again, I'm not sure if the three thousand square foot fitness center is within this ten thousand square foot spa fitness center. Or if these are two separate fitness centers. The way the the articles listing things is a little bit confusing. There's a six hundred uh theater event space. Which is Pretty big, actually. It's very interesting. Of course, 528 spaces for parking, which is almost a one-to-one one one ra ratio with the hotel rooms, but it's actually fewer than the actual number of units, which is good. Uh, from an urban planning stand standpoint, standpoint, that's good. And more. I don't know what the and more is, but that is the big one. Nickelodeon Suites on Orlando. Shut down in 2017, and sounds rebranded as a Holiday Inn Resort Orlando Suites. Um, but there are other Nicola experiences by Nickelodeon. There's two. There's only two Nickelodeon hotel and resorts though, and they're not in this country. So um, they're in Punta Cana and Riviera May. So this will be the first one of these in the United States, and it's awesome. That's coming here to California. Now, let's try to get a rendering of this because in the article I saw just a few moments ago. There we go. This is from the LC Register. So, so this is what the hotel will look like. Again, SpongeBob features prominently here. Um, there's the event space, and the pool will be like in the back, on the, on the roof, or in the back. And here's the hotel. And there's the here's the themed area. Is that maybe a golf course? There's Mr. Krabs right there. This maybe could be a golf course, like a mini golf course. That'd be pretty cool. It's a chum bucket. Oh no, that's sorry, that's. What should we call it? That's um a closer look at this. Oh this is um ah dang, ah, dang it. Sorry. Let's go back. But um that was SpongeBob's pineapple. Let's get you another screen share here. Yeah, so that's SpongeBob's pineapple. And uh, yeah, it just it looks very nice. There, as you can see, there's the parking ramps. Um, so it's kind of like a podium type structure. There's like a tiki, I believe maybe a play area. I feel like this could be maybe a mini golf course or a play area. This is probably the thirteen thousand square foot of themed entertainment space they're talking about. Yeah, there's the whole room right over there. And it's funny, you actually, whether on purpose or not. Disney is to the north, and again, it's not too far away from this particular location, and there's not too many tall buildings. So from the top floor, if it was oriented the other direction, um, was it like a, it's oriented like north to south, but it's oriented east to west, you'd probably be able to see Disney, and I feel like they maybe intentionally made it so this shape, or oriented north to south, so the majority of the rooms, or all of the rooms, you will not see the Disneyland Resort, which is, again, smart. Smart, smart, smart. Um, but yeah, this is very, very cool. I'm very excited for more themed resorts and experiences. And ever since I heard about the one in Florida and visited the one in Florida, I've always wanted, uh, was curious about one coming here to Los Angeles or the Southern California region. And Garden Grove is just right down the street from Disneyland. Again, I'm sure families that maybe will be going to Disneyland when this opens, no, want to stay at maybe not Disney Hotel because it's too expensive, but I'll look at the good neighbor hotels and those are kind of cheap. But they'll be like, oh, just a few miles down the road, it's a Nickelodeon hotel, fun for the whole family. You can still go to Disneyland and even maybe spend an extra day at uh, just the hotel itself. Um, so that's fantastic. I cannot wait to see this built. Got the green light now, so based on construction, I didn't. I don't, they didn't list an opening date, but just my guess, my guesstimation, I'd say maybe 2025 could open, so, because they got the green light now, maybe break ground in 2023, open 2025, those things that you take, hotels take about two, two years or so to build, mostly here in California, a lot of things take about two years here to build, um, so I'd say, yeah, about 2025. This could open, which is fantastic. Um, I'm very excited about this. What do you guys think below? Will you be checking it out? I'll definitely be checking it out for sure. Mm -hmm. I'll take a trip over there, even even if I don't stay there, just to time to take and take a look inside, 
There's what's going on. Then you can walk around characters, themed character, dining experiences, all the good stuff. Um, I'll be definitely taking a drive around that in three years, checking it out. I love Nickelodeon. Still just say, Spongebob is one of my favorite shows of all time. So it's definitely one of my favorite cartoons of all time. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think about this awesome news? What do you think is not awesome? Let me know in the comments below. Press that thumbs up if you like this video. Um, I'll be at Universal tomorrow for Super Nintendo World Updates, so subscribe for that and many more updates, and maybe I'll do some construction updates on this project as well every once in a while. As always, have a fantastic day.